And welcome back into the Frank Beckman Show. Turning to the world of politics now, not a day goes by that we don't have uh, some indication that a new figure is considering a run for governor in our state, or so it seems. And we've had uh, numerous names mentioned on both sides of the aisle. And the latest to uh, form an exploratory committee to take a look at this is on the other end of our line this morning. The sheriff out in Macomb County, Mark Hackle, joining us. Good morning, Sheriff. How are you? Good morning, Frank. Doing well, thank you. Good. What what led you to this decision to take a look at the uh, at the gubernatorial race in 2010? Well, for the last six months, uh, I've had some people that I've been talking to about some of the issues and you know, trying to learn more about the problems that we're seeing within the you know, the state itself, in particular in Macomb County and this region. Uh, we started talking about it, and uh, there were quite a few business people that had thought, you know, hey, you know, why, don't you, uh, why don't you take a look at it and think about it? So over the past six months, I, I got a little bit more serious of, uh, you know, trying to get a better understanding and handle what's happening, and then watching what's been happening at the national level, um, although some may not agree. Uh, I am I am extremely um, concerned about, you know, how he's developing this team, that being uh, Barack Obama talking about, you know, his, uh, his team that he's trying to bring together to lead this country out of some of the most difficult times we have seen. And uh, just seeing what he's able to do and kind of building that coalition at this point in time, um, I look back at what I did when I first got in office as sheriff and uh, recognize, even though there was some criticism, some people concerned as to whether or not my candidacy was viable enough to, to actually win that seat, uh, I did. And when I look at it, I realized it wasn't just about me. It was about the team of people that I brought to the table where I reached out to try to help get some support. And uh, as a result, we've done fairly well over the last eight years as a, as a law enforcement agency. And I thought, well, maybe I should entertain this and at least explore the opportunity to say, hey, I'm going to put myself out there as a candidate, uh, as a governor, and try to work with some of these people that really do care as much as I do about this state to try to see if we can lead it, lead it out of its, uh, its difficult times right now. Now, what exactly do you do when you form an exploratory committee? And again, this is all new to me as well. So what I'm, what I'm learning, and uh, again, you know, we've got a short window of uh, uh, time to work with, and uh, what we try to do is get out some polling, try to see, uh, you know, to get out to some key leaders within the, the various communities throughout the state, uh, try to get an assessment as to, you know, whether or not uh, this is what um, some of the other organize, organizations would like, if there's uh, an interest in having me as a candidate, and uh, try to get an idea of what the, the actual issues are. So it's not about fundraising at this point in time. It's just kind of getting an idea as to whether or not uh, people are receptive to, to the fact that, you know, I may be a, a viable candidate. And uh, it's always interesting when you put yourself out there, you know, you get the, uh, uh, the criticisms that come along with it. But for the most part, uh, my thought was I'm just going to do it, get an idea as to whether or not uh, people would be serious, serious enough to say, hey, we want to support this guy, we trust him, and uh, we want to be a part of this and, and see where it goes. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if you got a phone call from supporters of Lieutenant Governor John Cherry who would say, hey, Sheriff, hold on a minute here. You know, we'd, we've been serving in the number two role in the state for a long time, and uh, this is uh, this is the natural next step for, for the Lieutenant Governor. Yeah, and again, I'm probably a non-traditional type of a candidate, I guess, if you will, for governor, and uh, I don't... You know, it's definitely unusual. Um, there's probably not too many uh, people in my position that actually have uh, decided to even form a committee to make a determination as to whether or not you'd be a viable candidate. So I, I expect that I'm going to be talking to uh, many people, uh, whether it's uh, John Cherry uh, himself, which I, I would love to sit down and talk to him and uh, discuss these issues with. And, uh, again, I, I'm still open to, you know, other possibilities and, uh, you know, I guess uh, uh, input. And, uh, you know, who knows what, what will come of this. I really don't know. Uh, at this point in time, that's why we're exploring it. And again, I'm, I'm young, I'm energetic, um, I'm willing to learn, willing to understand, and uh, very passionate about Michigan, very passionate about Macomb County. Um, again, this is just another opportunity to say, hey, if I can serve at a different capacity to help out with what's going on with our current state of affairs, um, I, I'd, I'd gladly be a part of that. Well, I, does this uh, preclude any effort uh, to become the, the first ever county executive out of Macomb? Well, it doesn't preclude that because people were talking about it as well, and even myself, we kind of had that as our uh, part of our focus and our discussions over the last six months as to, you know, this issue about county executive. And uh, my thing is I absolutely love Macomb County. I mean, it's where I was born and raised, and uh, that definitely is a, of an interest. But, you know, the question became, you know, that doesn't currently exist. We'll see where, see where it goes. In the meantime, let's explore this option just to see if people might have an interest in uh, in getting behind you as part of a, you know, I guess a bigger effort, if you will. And uh, if that pans out and, you know, that's where, where we go with it, then uh, that's the direction I'll take. But, no, it does not preclude me from looking at uh, the county executive's uh, office either. Sheriff Hackle, what, what could immediately make up your mind that, yes, this is something I'm going to pursue? I am going to invest the time and resources and start raising funds to run for governor. What's the one thing that could put you over the top to do it? 
Well, I think if there was a strong enough uh, response and uh, I guess uh, people coming around and making those calls and, you know, some key uh, community organizers, community leaders, and uh, even some key political figures that might say, hey, we want to help you out and we want to be part of this and we think it's a, a good, fresh uh, change perspective. And, you know, we, we know it's not traditional, but uh, we, we think you have what it takes. And, again, I, I'm going to be going around reaching out to see if, uh, you know, that, uh, that sounds like somewhat of a, uh, I guess, response I get. And uh, if it is. Uh, you know, it just kind of gravitates toward that. When I ran for sheriff the first time, honestly, it was one of those things where I, I didn't talk to too many people. I just decided to do it. And uh, when I did, I wasn't certain what happened, and it just kind of built. I mean, it just uh, it came as a groundswell. And it was during some very difficult uh, uh, personal and professional times, you know. And as a result of that, um, you know, I realized, okay, I humbled myself to the reality as I'm here to do something on behalf of the people that got me here. And uh, that's the same thing I would do and look for uh, as I try to progress through this process, uh, make a determination as to whether or not I'd make a good candidate for governor. Well, let, and let's be honest, when when you ran for sheriff and, and won it, it, it was a near miraculous election after the legal difficulties your father went through and, and what your family went through. That was that was tough on everybody, and nobody expected you to win for that reason, and yet you beat all the odds. So, I mean, it would give you confidence to do it again here after what you have established as now your own reputation as a uh, as, as a crime fighter out in Macomb County and, and a man who's gained a lot of respect as, as someone who's reached across the aisle and, and worked with people in the adjoining counties as well. And again, it's pretty much the same way it developed. I wasn't intending upon running for sheriff. I didn't uh, I didn't think about it. It wasn't uh, my mindset because, as you mentioned, and I was talking about earlier, the difficulties, but for the most part, uh, some people were, were coming up and saying, you know, you need to think about it. Look at your you know, your experience, your education, that, that drive and passion that you have for, for you know, what's going on in law enforcement. You need to really consider it. And I finally, it was, it was almost like the last minute decision to say, okay, I'm I'm going to give this a try, and you know, I obviously turned around and looked and said, "Okay, you better be there for me to help make this happen," because I'm looking for that support. No one person can do it alone. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. Unfortunately, that's exactly what what happened, and you know, I'm, I'm very grateful for that. But again, I, I understand my role, and as it isn't a day that goes by that I'm not engaged or involved in what's going on in the community. Yeah, Sheriff Hackle, what's the one thing that could convince you not to take a shot at this? Um, well, I, you know, I really haven't thought of that. I, I guess if they're um, I, I don't get uh, I don't get discouraged or disappointed very easily. I mean, I'm a pretty hard driven person. So I guess if uh, you know the party leaders have other uh, plans or thoughts, and you know, there's a lot of dialogue that comes into play there. And you know, I guess uh, yeah, I have to sit and wait and see what uh, you know how that how that plays out. Because in politics, which is something I'm uh, not as in tune to the uh, the different political aspects of you know who's supposed to be getting what as a result of time uh, of longevity um, when i start hearing you know those types of dialogues being played out and somebody comes to me and says here this is uh you know this is what we're thinking this is kind of how it, uh, it should play out and you know these are better options or you know i think this is how you'll help us in a uh, better way or at least help the state then i might uh, uh consider you know a, a different alternative um, or just maintain my position as sheriff, which I truly enjoy. I, mean, I love what I'm doing. Well, I'll tell you what, th- this state might be ready for someone who, who doesn't have ties to any particular special interest, and uh, it, it might look favorably on that type of candidate. And, and I've, been, I've been able to do that. I mean, I think as a sheriff, you recognize you're, it's partisan as to how you get elected, but for the most part, having been in office over the last few years, uh, I reach across party lines I have for, for many years. Um, I think that's what the public is expecting. You do have the, you know, the hardcore perspective, you know, on, on both sides. But for the most part, um, I think I've been able to bridge that, uh, that gap and try to bring people to the table for law enforcement. That's different because people understand that. Yet when it comes to political ideals and you know what people's uh, mindsets are and you know what their, you know their own uh, uh, thought bases, it's a little bit harder to understand that. But I think for the most part, I'd, I'd be able to try to, to try to balance that and uh, and bring that together. And uh, it'll be what six months before you make a final decision here. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a little while. I think we're we're trying to uh, sharpen it down a little bit uh, uh, closer to about a ninety day perspective here. So we're we're trying to get as much done as we can in a ninety day process. Uh, to get a better idea as to exactly what we're going to do with this. All right. Well, good luck with all of that, and uh, it, it'll be uh, in, an interesting race if indeed you uh, you choose to get in. You'd bring a, a real fresh perspective uh, to it from from law enforcement, and uh, maybe without some of the baggage that uh, that other candidates in the race on both sides of the aisle may have. So we wish you the best in your deliberations. And I, I appreciate uh, you allowing me some time on uh, your station here. Thank you. All right. Talk to you soon, Sheriff. Thank you. And, and Merry Christmas to you if I don't talk to you before then. Thank you.
you and to you as well. All right, take care. Sheriff Mark Hackle, who's uh, now taking a look at a run for governor in 2010 on the Democratic side, uh, here on the Frank Beckman Show at WJR.